Hey everybody, welcome back to Hitching Time. So a couple months ago, we decided that we wanted a golf cart for our experience in the RV park where we live at. Just so we could uh, go and get packages, we could ride around as a family and just, you know, kind of do something a little bit more than walking. And my wife and I didn't have bikes, so the kids would ride bikes, they'd be off running around and it, and it would leave us walking. So we decided to get a golf cart. Now we've done a whole bunch of upgrades to this golf cart. It is a 2020. Three uh, Coleman golf cart we got from Lowe's. They had it on sale. We actually got it, I believe, for like eight thousand dollars or so. Um, and we've done a whole bunch of upgrades as well. We put a, a cargo rack on the front. We added spacers to the wheels. Uh, we put um, hand grips on the side or up here on the top. We added some like undercarriage lights and stuff like that. But we had in that big flood that we had a couple weeks ago those stopped working so uh i've got to fix that so we also added glove boxes to this when this comes from direct from the factory there is no uh opening here in the front so there's no lid it's just a cubby is all it is so we added these glove boxes real super easy just put two screws on each side and it makes a nice little area where you can close up and secure your items we also added this cargo rack um, this one we actually had to modify a little bit um, because it, it's made for maybe some other type of thing. We actually just drilled a hole in the bracket and uh, screwed it or bolted it on there. We also added these are extra large cup holders. Um, they just slide in and you twist it and it secures it to the thing. And it has a, a phone holder that will sit in there as well, as well as holding your drink. So it makes it really nice when you're carrying your phone and your drinks the last thing we added to our golf cart is a different steering wheel um, it came with the steering wheel that it came with it was rounded at the, at the top but it had a flat part along the bottom and we didn't really like that we wanted the the solid round ones we added that and it was super easy to do as well you just unscrew these bolts here and it comes right off the last thing we added to our golf cart is a rear view mirror now you have it comes standard with the side mirrors but it's really hard to see in the back you have a couple different types of options when it comes to the rear view mirrors uh, some of them have a bar that goes all the way across and it has multiple mirrors i didn't we didn't really like that yeah. so the the long bar it will come about right here or so and it goes all the way across and it has multiple sections and it's it's really uh distracting uh, but this one is an atv mirror and it just mounts on the on the rail itself with like c-clamps and it gives a nice wide view of behind you very clear and very nice So, actually, I just remembered one more thing that we added. We've added so much to this golf cart. So, this comes standard with a with a seat that can be folded down. And this is a just an opening storage area. And it will go all the way down to the bottom. You can buy an insert from it that turns this into an ice chest. Uh, and it has a drain plug down the bottom as well. But we figured it would be a whole lot better uh, rather than having an ice chest to use this as a storage area so it's it stores our cover it stores our uh, flags that we have on the back when it's not christmas time or halloween time when we have it decorated otherwise uh, and our power cord so it's all right here on the golf cart we don't have to be looking for things and then it just simply folds back up hold it hold the seat with daddy and goes back into a seat. So all in all, this has been a great golf cart for us. Um, it serves our purpose well. It goes about 20 miles per hour uh, on when it's fully charged. Uh, it will get down to about 50% or so and start losing power. Uh, after the 50%, it will go down to where you put it on the floor and you're lucky to go about five miles an hour. So that's my only complaint about it. Uh, but the battery does last about five to seven days or so, depending on how much we use it. But all in all, we really like this golf cart. Uh, it is about uh, six and a half foot tall. I believe it's like 70 and a half inches or so to the top of the roof. Um, so if you're going to have an enclosed uh, trailer, 
to move it around with. It's going to have to be at least a seven foot trailer on the inside, uh, or at least a seven foot trailer in order to transport it. And that was one of the things that we had a hardest time finding. Ours is right at the very limit. Um, we actually have to uh, take the air out of the back tires in order to get it in the trailer. But there is some that will go in there without a problem. And there are some kits you can buy where it will lower the roof and stuff like that if you don't want to, but it's just super easy to remove the air. But we've got about 330 miles or so on it so far. We've had it for about three months, I believe. Um, and it's all pretty much right here in the park, just driving around on our nightly, uh, nightly cruises with me and my wife. Uh, after the kids go to bed, we'll ride around a couple laps and just spend some time with each other. When the kids are awake, we'll take them around the trails and just drive around the park just to spend some family time together. So very nice, very uh, cost effective uh, golf cart as well. Uh, the new models have just come out. They've changed the displays a little bit, but they're still right about that uh, I believe about $9,000 or so you can get it at Lowe's right now. Now, this is a Coleman golf cart. Uh, right now, Lowe's is switching over to the candy cart, which is basically the same cart. Uh, it just has a different branding is all. Uh, but they are switching over to the candy carts uh, brand, and it's right about $9,000, I say, I think, for uh, one just like this. Of course, it won't have all the extras that we put on there. That's another, I don't know, uh, probably thousand bucks or so. Uh, but like I said, this, this is just a offshoot of the candy carts and all of these extras, um, you'll order uh, candy cart, uh, accessories for, um, because they are mix and match. It's just a different logo, different brand is all that it is, but it's made the same way. So all these are going to be candy cart, uh, accessories. The golf cart is a Coleman, uh, 2023 model. Um, but yeah, I mean, we really like it. So I hope that, that you've enjoyed this short little video here. Uh, in the next video, we actually bought an enclosure that we're going to be putting on it. So make sure that you click on that subscribe button as well as the bell icon down the bottom right-hand corner so you don't miss any of the videos that we put out. Uh, we have put out uh, great uh, RV tips, some trivia questions uh, on a daily basis, and uh, do these longer form videos uh scattered throughout so make sure that you subscribe to the channel leave us a comment down below do you do you have one of these what are your thoughts on it do you prefer some other type of golf cart leave a comment down below and let us know and also please share thank you very much for watching from all of us here at Hidgen Time have a great day and happy camping